You know, when you do a television show and you do it conscientiously, you're constantly changing and improving. And you never know when or where the reason for these changes may come. As a matter of fact, this show tonight, a change came about quite by accident. When on a purely personal matter, I went to see one of the most important men in our business, Walt Disney. Well, I like him, but uh, let's don't forget that darn cat. The title of the picture is the important thing. We got to punch it. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Jack Benny is here to see you. Jack Benny? Send him in. Wonder what he wants. Well, I thought he was still mad at you for not using him in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> finally got through to him. It was a cartoon. <laughs> oh, Jack. Hi, Walt. Good to see you. Good Thank to see you. you. Thank you. This is a real pleasant surprise, you know? You don't come around here very often. No. What a beautiful studio you have here in this office and everything. Well, I think after Mary Poppins, I can afford a redo. <laughs> sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Esmeralda, be quiet. I'll see you, Walt. <laughs> Everybody around here calls me Walt. I know. But Jack, what's on your mind? Well, Walt, you see, tomorrow I'm doing an hour television show with a large cast and crew. And I thought that instead of taking him to dinner after the show at the Bistro or Chasen's, that just for a change, I thought it'd be kind of nice if I took him through Disneyland. That is, if it's all right with you. Oh, Jack, I think it's a wonderful idea. How many people are there? A hundred and ten. That's not too many, is it? No, no. Uh, in fact, we have a special department that handles large groups at a discount. A discount? Yeah, that means... I know what it means. <laughs> Look, Walt, I was thinking. You know, with a big show like mine, I wind up with... Practically nothing. <laughs> Ten people. I mean, even with the with the discount. <laughs> they would really run into and since you, you see the fact that you own the place. I thought maybe Come on in trying to behave yourself. Go ahead, Jack. Pay no attention to him. We're all one big happy family. Whatever you can say to me, you can say in front of him. <laughs> well, Walt, as I was saying... Happy family. One big family. Shut up. <laughs> now, Walt, as I was saying... <laughs> nice pussycat. <laughs> Walt, as I was saying, you see, 110... Oh, incidentally, did you ever get those four complimentary tickets I sent you to one of my television shows? <laughs> oh, yes, Jack, thank you. You know, i almost forgotten that was about nine years ago, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah, just about. Yeah. Now, I was saying, I'm taking 110 people to Disneyland. And, oh, oh, Walt, I must tell you, I think it's just so wonderful the way you're always taking groups of, of poor, underprivileged children through Disneyland free of charge. Well, Jack, we don't publicize that. How did you know? My sister's kid went once. <laughs> he had a wonderful time. <laughs> he brought me back some candy and everything. <laughs> <laughs> now, Walt... It's silly to keep beating around the bush. What I was wondering was... Wait a minute, Jack. I think I'm getting the idea. You want 110 free tickets? Well, <laughs> I had no idea that's what you wanted. I didn't. I'm only a bird. <laughs> so, let's see here. Wait a minute, Jack. I seem to recall that when Disneyland first opened... I gave you a 14-carat solid gold pass lifetime pass to Disneyland. 
Yes, you did give me a solid gold pass. Well, where is it? Here. I had a round of dollars. Okay, 110 free tickets. And I hope you all have a wonderful time. Ah, thanks, thanks, Walt. Hey, listen, you've been so nice to me, I'm going to do something for you. Yeah, what's that? Well, you know how important it is when a motion picture is publicized on a television show. Oh, yes, I certainly do. Well, now, look, at on my show tomorrow night, I have a beautiful foreign actress. And we're going to do a foreign film. You know, like they do in Italy, an Italian film. Yeah. And I'm going to rewrite the whole thing so that it has a sort of a Walt Disney approach. Well, Jack, I don't know how you can possibly apply my movie-making approach to a foreign film. I mean, everyone I see seems to be so earthy, so full of basic raw emotions. That's true. That's true, Walt. But don't worry about it. It'll work out. Ah, but there's such short time. Won't it be a problem? Not when you're as creative as I am. <laughs> He's living in the wonderful world of Benny. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing, it'll be great. And thanks so much for the ticket. Always glad to help a friend in need, Jack. Goodbye. <laughs> Whoa! I was just thinking. Now, you see, my wife, Mary, she's not on my show, but she's never been to Disneyland. And uh, I was just thinking. My approach in an Italian movie? This we'll have to see, won't we, boys?